So, my turn. incher there that's what that is a 20 incher hey everybody i'm aaron quick with tackle hd uh tonight i want to talk to everybody about the uh, 3.5 hd swimmer we launched this bait about a month ago and we're selling them pretty heavy i mean sales are great on them um we are going to have a four inch available probably in the next month or so but m the most of the time i Mainly when I throw this swimmer, I'm throwing it like this. It's going to be on a just a just a lead jig head, a light wire hook, because I like to when I get snagged, I like to be able to uh, just straighten out the hook and get right back after it. I just take a pair of needle nose and I bend it back in place, and I could throw this thing for days before I have to replace the hook. And I've never had a fish straighten that hook out, but. Uh, just a lead jig head. This is like a swim bait jig head a buddy makes for me. And uh, we're working on jig head. We don't have it ready yet. So that, it, that would be just the, the simplest, most inexpensive way to fish this swim bait. And it's a year round bait. You can throw it in winter, summer, fall, spring, every all season. I throw them all year and I, I have a lot of success on them. So do a lot of other people. Um, ow, got a hook in me there. So this is a, a chatter bait. This is a well-known chatter bait, and uh, I I wouldn't throw any of these without a trailer on them. I don't. I really don't think anybody else does, but uh, it really goes well on that chatter bait. So uh, you want to match the color, most likely. For a fact, I don't think I. I would never throw a spinner bait without a trailer on it myself. I always throw a swim bait trailer on it and I'm always going to put my swim bait trailer on it. It gives them something to key in on and they're going to really target that part of the bait instead of just hitting the whole thing and missing your, your bites. Um, right now, big time in Missouri, the A-Rig bite's going. This is how I rig our a -rig, the A-Rig that I throw, which is a seller. It's a, a, a buddy of ours that makes them, and uh, he's a bait company, seller of bait company. So what I do here is I fish a lot of flowing water, so I bend mine way out. So when I'm pulling it through the, the swift, the moving water, it tends to bunch it up a little bit, but the more I stretch it out, the less it's bunched, so they can target my, my baits with the hooks on them. And on this, I put a quarter ounce in the middle and I have an eighth on the sides, on the bottom. So that quarter ounce weighs down the middle and always keeps it from spinning and doing circles in the water. Up here, these are just screw locks. So there's no weight up here at all. That always stays up high. And uh, with this rigging, and I have the same light wire hook jig heads on it. I've had the same A-Rig on all season. I've thrown it for three months and I just don't lose them. And they get snagged every every third or fourth cast in the river and the lakes I throw it at. But I just pull real hard with this braid and I uh, straighten out the hooks. Like I throw needle nose pliers and I just bend the hooks back in the, in the position and keep throwing. I would throw at least 50 pound braid. You know, that's seems to be perfect. I throw mine on an eight foot caching rod and a big heavy duty reel. So go to TackleHD.com and get you some of our new 3.5 HD swimmers. And coming soon, we'll have our four inch version and they're gonna be a big hit too. I'm, I've been fishing them for about a year and I've caught a lot of fish on the four inch as well as the three and a half. So. TackleHD.com, uh, Tackle Warehouse, and many other dealers are carrying uh, these new baits. So reach out to your dealers near you. If they don't carry your baits, ask them to, and then, uh, then contact us on our website, and we'll stock their stores. You guys have a great evening, and talk soon. See you next week.